All right, guys. Today I'll be telling the story on uh, John Bonham, who was the drummer for the rock band Led Zeppelin. So apparently, there's not much I can really say about here, but I'll just say that I'll just say that it's similar similar to where uh, he and Keith Moon both died at 32 years old. But anyways, let's continue the story. John Henry Bonham was born on 31st of May, 1948, in Ridwich, Ridditch in England. He was known for the rock drummer for the band, Led Zeppelin. He was known for his speed, power, fast single foot, kicking drumming, and the sound feel for the group. Now, what I was going to say is that his drumming techniques look a little bit similar to uh, Keith Moon, but Keith Moon definitely does have like a lot of um, hyperactiveness and enthusiasm when it comes to um, self-destruction on drums. But for uh, John Bonham, he apparently um, doesn't have that kind of um, destruction of um, drums, you know. <laughs> so anyways, when he was five years old, he took up the drums and he was receiving a snare drum. But at the age of 10, he had a full drum set. At, at just 15 years old, he played in multiple bands, such, such, as, such as the Yardbirds, which was the Dismice in 1968. So eventually, he was playing the two different plants with Robert Plant. So eventually, Bonham joined Plant with the guitarist Jimmy Cage and bassist John Point Jones to form Led Zeppelin, which was formed in 1968 in London, England. So Bonham actually showed a showcase of a hot rock style, and apparently it was the latest group in later releases. Like Keith John Moon, or should I say Moon the Loon of the rock band, which was actually the British invasion for the rock giants, The Who, apparently did have like the drum drum grew in uh size you know so in 1969 during concert tour tours including the conga and the timpani and the gong his drum solo moby dick was uh featured on the second album it was a staple of the concert and it was lasting over 20 minutes but eventually what i was gonna say is that Bonham's Bonham's drumming was definitely one of the best uh, drummings. So if we compare to Keith Moon and John Bonham, I'll just say both of their drumming styles is good. But when you just see the differences between um, Moon and Bonham, um, eventually what I was gonna say is that uh, Keith Moon definitely does have like uh, violent, destructive behavior. Un unlike um, John Bonham, um, he doesn't really have that kind of um, destructive behavior. So eventually what I'll just say is that both of them did die at just 32 years old. First being Keith Moon who passed away from a drug overdose in 1978 back in uh, England at just 32 years old. And the second um, drummer to pass away before the disabandoned abandonment of Led Zeppelin was um, John Bonham, who actually did die of an alcohol poisoning. So eventually, what I was going to say is that on September 24th, 1980, just a day before his death, he was picked up by Led Zeppelin, which is Rex King. He began 17, he began 17 October in Montreal, Canada. It was the band's first tour since 19... 77. Bonham had stopped for breakfast. He drank quadruple four vodka screwdrivers. So eventually, 16 shots between 400 and 560 ml. Eventually, he then continued to drink heavily during rehearsal. The band stopped rehearsing late in the evening and went to Paige's house. After midnight on the 25th of September, uh, Bonham actually fell asleep. Unfortunately for that, John Bonham was found dead. And who actually found him dead? 
So eventually, what I was going to say is that manager Benji and bassist John Paul Jones actually found him responsive the next afternoon, but eventually, Bonham was pronounced dead on the scene. Once he just drank the alcohol, he apparently was dead. So what I was going to say is that it is similar to Bon Scott, who actually died five months earlier. Seven months, I mean seven months earlier, just before Bonham's death. Now, what I was going to say is that both Bon and John both drank alcohol. Now, it is not to shock you guys, but definitely what I was going to say is that John Bonham actually did drink a lot of vodka screwdrivers with 16 shots. Now, vodka is a drug, it's a distilled alcoholic beverage. It is definitely sold and originated in European countries. So, a screwdriver, not the screwdriver that you fix, but it's actually an alcoholic highball drink which is uh, made of orange juice and uh, vodka. Now that one is very dangerous and we don't recommend anyone to drink it under the age of 21. And guys, remember this, don't drink alcohol. And this is just a reminder and I can't show you what John Bonham really did before his death because that would be a wrongful thing for me to do. Now what I was going to say is that that one could be a very dangerous drink. Vodka is one of the one of the dangerous drinks people would drink. Like, why would they do that? Why would they, why would they care if they want to do heavy drinking? Heavy drinking is really unacceptable. We don't recommend anyone to drink. It depends on how old you are. Like, how old you are before you can drink. So eventually, after Bonham's death, to replace. But then they don't want to replace them on him, so eventually um, they disabandoned the uh, the band Led Zeppelin due to John Bonham's death. So eventually, Bonham John apparently had a younger brother Mick who died in 2000, and he had a younger sister Deborah who is still alive today. So eventually, Bonham was definitely married to Pat Phillips and had two children, Zoe Bonham. It's Jason Bonham. So eventually, Jason Bonham is the drummer, the English drummer, and he was the son of the of the drummer John Bonham. Since his father's death in t since September of 1980, he would perform with the surviving members of Led Zeppelin. So eventually, what I was gonna say is that John Bonham did drink a lot. Like he was like on heavy drinking. Every time during a rehearsal, he was heavy drinking a lot. Now, is that necessary for people to drink? Well, in my opinion, what I'll just say is that it is not necessary for people to drink uh, that much um, drinks every time they want to do it. But we don't want anyone to drink because drinking is not okay. Especially if you just drink like one shot, one shot of alcohol, it is okay. But we don't recommend anyone to drink too, too much of alcohol because um, you don't want to end up the same fate as um, John Bonham did back in 1980. So eventually it was really sad for uh, John Bonham to die at just 32 years old. Now, this is the similar thing that happened to Keith Moon back then. Now, both of them did take out alcohol and drugs, but Keith Moon did die of a drug overdose at just a very, very young age, at the tender age of 32. Now, what I was going to say is that Keith um, did drunk himself to the floor, I mean, really hard to the ground. When you see these pictures right here, and we see when you see John of Bonham's pictures in uh, some videos, you could just definitely see that there are pictures um, of him being very, very young. And eventually, what I was going to say is that John Bonham definitely does look young, but he didn't end the same fate as Keith did, only to end up with alcohol poisoning. So eventually, what I'm going to say is that I just hope you guys do learn the lesson and we want everyone to be safe. We don't want anyone to drink um, anything which is related to uh, drugs, you know, like drugs.
because of this this drug and alcohol they I'm sure they do mix but sometimes when when you just mix the drug right here it's like not good you know and eventually what I was gonna say is that even though Jason and Zoe do miss their father a lot eventually what I was gonna say is that Pat Phillips apparently is a single mother who who is still taking care of Jason and Zoe even though they're adults already but definitely um what what's the worst thing that can really happen to a person is that um they definitely do have like um alcoholism and sometimes they develop like um heavy drinking or even just pass out and when you find them the next morning they are mm, dead cause they just then then what I'll just say is that John definitely did drunk himself very hard to the ground I mean really hard to the ground when you definitely do see the pictures of him just trying to drink it's definitely because he is just a heavy drinker they went to stop they want to stop for breakfast with uh, John Bonham and suddenly John decides to uh, drink uh, vodka and uh, drink which is a cocktail or an alcoholic drink called Screwball. Eventually during rehearsal for the next album uh, John Bonham did drink a lot. It just sad. It's tragic. Many people do die of alcohol poisoning, and this is like terrible. Like, why would they do that? Why would they just um, do something like that? Well, people who are definitely alcoholics, like struggling alcoholic, drink and drink a lot. But this, but this is definitely the same thing that happened to Keith Moon back, back in 1978, where Keith Moon's drinking habits has gone way too extreme. Now, what I was gonna say is that Keith definitely did start to start drinking alcohol since 1967 during his 21st birthday and now what i was gonna say is that this video was actually featured on my youtube channel about keith moon's story now that video won't premiere until until next year because i forgot to do this one on the date the day when i was supposed to uh premiere that video but anyways guys that's all i really really need to say for now and eventually there is not uh there's not much i can really really say about uh john bonham right now is because um there's not much i can really really read about him anyways guys that's all i really need to say for now and this is me we the tomboy gamer signing off